My name is Randall Cole. I was born in Grand Bank, grew up in Grand Bank, uh, operated a business here for, uh, well, I guess, 35 years, a hardware store, and uh, retired in uh, 1998. My grandfather canned lobsters, and he, and, uh, you know, they were exported to Germany. Of course, he got stuck when the when the uh, when the war broke out with Germany in 1914, and uh, he had all these lobsters he couldn't sell. <laughs> I guess they lived on lobsters anyway. But you know, the fishermen lost big time. Uh, you know, a, a, an event really that was remote from this bay to an ordinary uh, ordinary fisherman was affected by world events. You know, right on his doorstep. If you know what I mean, he didn't wasn't that much wasn't war actually, but it was in a different way, I guess it was. He was taken by the loss of of his of income. So you know, the fish plant closed down in ninety three, I think it was, or ninety two, and we had they had five hundred employees. They went from the new operators that took over operated a shellfish operation and they employed about hundred and twenty or something like that. And I don't think they got year-round employment. But this town really was in the fishery, was really in the fishery. We had, you know, 12 months year-round employment. There was no no downtime or anything like that. It wasn't a seasonal. The, the, the boats fished all winter long in Grand Bay and Fortune, too, of course. Well, I, I guess I have an interest in history and things like that, so I don't know how much, you know, what you want to know in history, but I... I I have been researching the history of Fortune Bay and South Coast for 25 or 30 years, too. So off and on, but I'm ser more serious at it now than I ever was, you know. Uh, the first one was self-published, uh, and it was a story about my father's life at, at sea. It was actually, it's called Life at Sea. And uh, I self-published, and I had a 1,000 printed. So we're about 600 sold now. Or so. oh, I guess we're probably 700 sold at the present time. Well, um, all I guess when our class, I would say there was probably 18 or 20 graduated that year in our school. There were two schools here uh, at that time. And I would say it was only three or four of us uh, stayed. You know, the rest went away to, uh, most of them went to Toronto and that area. Um, worked at factory jobs and things like that. That was 1958 we uh, we graduated. Uh, well, I, I really, I left Grand Bank for uh, two years. Uh, I, I was working with the Bank of Nova Scotia, and then I, I got transferred to St. Lawrence, and I was over there for two years. And uh, from that, I I started Grand Bank Lumber Company after I came back. I, I worked with a, a firm for bookkeeper, a firm as a bookkeeper for a year, and then I started Grand Bank Lumber, which was the hardware store I told you about, and uh, went on from that. Well, I suppose there's a certain spirit in Newfoundland of independence type of thing. Uh, I don't know. It's a, I guess it's inbred into us. I mean, the the first people who came over, I mean, they, you know, they came from a country that was. Uh, control of land, you know, was uh, was a problem over there. You know what I mean? A person couldn't get ahead, but if, if after he came over here, he could own a piece of land, or if he squatted onto it, you know, the same thing. If he, he had a piece of land, he could have lots of land. There was plenty of it out there. So that was, that was an enticement to stay, and I think that's inbred into us ever since.